Hey everybody, I've got a Battle Box double feature for you. I've got missions 84 and 85 here, and we're going to check them both out right now on Kitbashed Survival. Yeah, so I was out of town for a little bit and I got behind in my Battle Box review, so we're going to do this double feature. I've been thinking about canceling Battle Box, but I haven't yet. We'll see what happens in the near future. But for right now, let's go ahead and open up Mission 84 first. And of course, as everybody knows, Battle Box is a monthly subscription box service, survival and tactical gear delivered monthly. And the gear inside is vital for survival. That's why I get it, because I couldn't survive without it. So here's the Mission 84 briefing. And just like I always say, there's four levels of battle box. There's the basic box, the advanced box, the pro box, and the pro plus box, which is the knife of the month. So it looks like there are three items in the basic box for mission 84. The first one is an inflatable seat, the Clement V seat, the perfect sitting pad for everything from sports games to camping, engineered for real comfort. I think they have given me some Clement stuff before in a previous battle box. I want to say it was a sleep pad rather than a seat. Yeah, so there it is. It's pretty big actually compared to most sit pads. The ones that I take backpacking are made by Thermarest and they're a little bit smaller and you know the goal was to have them be as light as possible. This is probably a little heavier since it's larger but it's very nice. Clement V seat. And here's where we inflate it. Then we'll go ahead and inflate it. And there it is. Not bad. Got the nice little V grooves for your butt. It's got one of those old school inflator valves where it's really basic. You unscrew it, you blow in, and then you try to screw it back and tighten it before it deflates. The more modern ones that you see on high-end sit pads and sleep pads and so forth will have a special valve where you can blow in but nothing will come out. That's what I have on my Thermarest, oh what's it called, a Thermarest Z-Lite or something like that that I take when I'm camping. But yeah, it's nice, I mean, it'll do the job. Alright, then we've got the next item in the basic box. Let's see here if I can find it. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> okay, the No So Repair Patch. So, Battle Box Repair Patches, you know, for your tent or your sit pad or sleep pad or anything like that. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but these things do come in handy when you're out in the field and you get a hole in your sleep pad or your sit pad or anything like that. Or So, always good to have. I'll put this in my gear repair kit. Let's see, then the last item in the basic box is actually a knife. It's the Fox Edge Olea. So it looks like this mission has two knives, which is nice, seeing as one of the previous missions had a knife that was quite controversial. Yeah, it's not a high quality knife. That's why it's in the basic box. Let's see what the price is. $29.95. Yeah, I can believe that. It's not anything fancy at all. You know, a good utility knife, just a beater. Just for doing stuff where you don't care about destroying it or anything like that. But yeah, it's okay. It's pretty heavy. Kind of clunky. I like the wood scales right there. That's kind of nice. Let's see what kind of steel this is. 8CR13 MOV, which is, you know, it's okay. So, Fox Edge Olia. Well, I'm glad this wasn't the main knife in Mission 84. That would have been a letdown. But as a basic box item, it's fine. Then we've got the advanced box, and there's one item in the advanced box, and it's this light band wide beam LED headlamp. See everything, feel nothing. You won't hear me complaining about a headlamp. I can always use them. They're nice to have in survival kits. 
Although usually what I do is I go out and buy really cheap ones at, you know, Home Depot or Walmart or whatever, just to have headlamps and survival kits. But this one's pretty fancy. The price they have on it is $49.99, so 50 bucks. Now it's got this big, huge power pack. I'm not sure what that's about. Let's see. I'm hoping you don't have to wear this when you're using it. Let's see. It's got a USB-C plug here. All right. And then, okay, you do have to wear it. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not a big fan of clunky headbands like this, but oh well. I mean, they have this nice streamlined light here that's low profile, and then they got this big old battery on the side. It's kind of funny. There we go. I mean, it's bright. It's useful. I like the light part of it. You know, it's just the big old battery on the side of your head is kind of a downer. It's not a deal breaker. I mean, this is still very useful, but Certainly not lightweight, but you could put it in a survival kit or a bug out bag or anything like that. I like the lights. Those are very cool. Wraps around your head. I could see this being very useful. And you know, the battery pack is not that big of a deal. I'm just used to going backpacking with headlamps and when you're backpacking, you want stuff to be as ultra light as possible. So I would never take something like this backpacking, but, you know, but for a bug out bag or a survival kit or just around the house, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. The Light Band 520. Okay, then there's two items in the Pro Box for Mission 84. This is one of them, the 511 Halo Neck Gator. All right. 511 actually makes really good stuff. I've got some of their button-up shirts, and I love them. So, 511, yeah, I like their stuff a lot. I'm always trying to get more of their button-up shirts, but they're always on back order. But if you ever have a chance to get some of those button-up short sleeve shirts from 511, do it because they are fantastic. They're nicely ventilated and they're made out of that material that dries really quickly, so very high quality. And I'm sure the neck cater is high quality too. There it is. Pretty self-explanatory. You just put it around your neck. Keeps your neck warm or protected from bugs or cold or all that stuff. You can see here he's got it up around his face. So, yeah, not bad. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but, you know, very useful. I'm going to put this in the back of my truck. That way, if it's ever cold or something, I can whip this out. And the price on that is $15. Then we've got... Something I've actually wanted to get one of these for a while. This is a Zippo Heatbank 9S Plus. And this, believe it or not, I'm kind of excited about. I have a large Zippo collection. <laughs> one of these days, maybe I'll show it. I've got a, about 120 Zippos. And I've got some of their hand warmers that use liquid fuel. You know, they use the lighter fluid and those work great but I don't have one of their battery powered hand warmers yet. And I think these are a power bank too, yeah. So it's a hand warmer and a power bank. So warm your hands and charge your phone. <laughs> okay, so there's two gauges here. There's the battery level, which is on the left. And then on the right, you have the heat meter. Right there. There we go. Now it's on one, level two, level three. So let me hold this thing and see how long it takes to get warm. Zippo hand warmer power pack, 5,200 milliamps, which is, you know, a pretty small phone power bank, but as a hand warmer, I'm sure it's fine. So it's mainly a hand warmer, but you know, you could probably get one charge for your phone out of it, depending on what phone you have. And, how dead your battery is. Yeah, it's already getting warm. Now, it's got a little number one right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And that's for one-sided heating. So right now it's heating the back side. If I press it again, now it's got a little two. 
and I'll turn that all the way up and now it's double-sided heating so it's gonna get nice and warm now and I'm sure that eats up more battery and that's why they give you the different options so that you can go longer with less power if you want to pretty cool so single-sided or double-sided heating and then a power bank for your phone not bad at all like I said I've been wanting to check one of these out for a while only bad thing is that winter is pretty much over where I'm at now, so I probably won't be able to test it out in the field, but I'll save it for next winter and I'm sure it'll come in handy. All right, and then we've got the Pro Plus box for Mission 84, which is the knife of the month, and they've got another Lord and Field knife. So this is the Lord and Field Tommy P, which they say has a price of $120. And I actually kind of like the Lord and Field knives that they've done in the past. They're kind of old-fashioned and nostalgic looking, so I don't have a problem with them. Nice leather sheath, Lord and Field. And there we go. It's got that leather cord handle thing going on. Feels good in the hand, has a nice weight to it. Where is it balanced at? Probably somewhere in here. Yeah. Got a little buffalo icon on the blade. Seems pretty sharp. It's like a Scandi grind. It's sharp. It shaves hair. So, yeah, I like this. Kind of reminds me of some case knives that I own. The fixed blade case knives except with the Scandi grind. Like it's kind of a cross between a case knife and a Mora. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Very cool. Nice sheath too. Very cool, the Lord and Field Tommy P. All right, so there's all the stuff from Mission 84 of BattleBox. Not bad. I kind of like it. It's not the best mission ever, but I like it. It's got some cool stuff. I like the Zippo hand warmer slash power bank. I like the Lord and Field knife. The sit pad is useful. The gator is useful. The repair patch is useful. And the headlamp will get used as well. So a lot of useful stuff in this mission. I don't have much of a problem with this one. So now let's check out mission 85. There's the mission briefing. All right, so it looks like we have four items in the basic box for Mission 85. First one is a storm safety whistle. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this open without completely destroying the package. Sporting events, campers, hikers, hunters, scuba divers, police and firefighters. Adopted by the U.S. military, yeah. Not so sure about that. Made in USA. So there it is. It's got an interesting shape to it. Not the most compact whistle ever made. Probably too big for a survival kit, but... Kind of cool looking. Storm. <whistles> it's got a good sound to it. <laughs> no doubt about that. Okay. Next, we've got some food. We've got the Compact Provisions BP5S Emergency Food, 9 bars per box, 2385 calories per box, and a 5-year shelf life. One box feeds one adult for one day. Okay. Oh, it's almost 2400 calories. You could probably stretch that into two days if you had to, or even three. I mean, in a survival situation, food is one of the least important items because your body can go pretty long without food, unlike water. Well, there they are. I'm not going to open these because I don't want to waste them right now, but uh, if anybody's had these before, let me know what they taste like. All right, then we've got a candle. This is the Harlow Road Outdoor Citronella Survival Candle. Harlow Road. Candles for Adventure. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I can open it without a 
No. Nope. And there it is. Pretty self-explanatory. A survival candle. Hand poured in Oregon. Four ounce soy bug repellent candle. Okay, cool. Can't ever have too many candles. All right, then the last item in the basic box is the My Medic Billy Band Bundle. <laughs> okay. So, we've got some assorted sizes of these Billy Bands. Let's see what the mission briefing says about these. My Medic has created the simplest, most efficient way to carry your tourniquet for quick access. The reliable design is super affordable and unmatched in terms of rapid deployment and effectiveness. You can also use these billy bands for attaching other gear like flashlights, chem lights, knives, comm equipment, ferro rod, pretty much anything to a Molly equipped surface. Okay, so yeah, they're basically just bands for fastening stuff to a Molly equipped surface, including a tourniquet. I think that's what they're meant for, but you could obviously use them to carry anything. Just to fasten anything to the outside of a pack. Not terribly exciting, but kind of cool. All right, then we've got the advanced box and we've got one item and it's this. The solar inflatable light plus mobile charging by Lucy. Okay. This should be interesting. There's the charger cable. <laughs> okay, it's got one of those little inflating valves, like on a pool raft. <laughs> Okay, this is this is interesting. All right, let's go ahead and inflate this thing. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a floating lantern. It's got a solar panel up here. <laughs> there it is. Bright, brighter, flashing, of course. So we got dim, medium, high, and then flashing. <laughs> and then, of course, you can use it as a charger bank. Let's see here. Yeah, there's where you plug your phone in. So this is the charging cable, and then when you're done charging, you can recharge your phone with it. <laughs> Let's see how powerful it is. Well, I can't find a listing of the milliamps anywhere, but it's not that big. If I had to guess, it's probably something like, you know, 5,000 milliamp hour or something like that. Oh, there's the battery level indicator right there. <laughs> you know, it's kind of cool. It's quirky, it's weird, but it's kind of cool. I mean, it's lightweight. Could probably take this camping. It's got two handles. And a button there so you could wrap it around something like a tree branch or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's different. Very cool. All right, then we've got the Pro Box. And in the Pro Box, we've got what looks like a first aid kit. This is the My Medic Trauma First Aid Kit, or TFAC. Has a price of $82. Okay, so it's got the rip away thing like a lot of these types of first aid kits have. 
you can attach it to a pack with molly webbing and then when you need it you can just rip it off you don't have to bother with unbuckling it, it gives you fast access Okay, 25% off on refills, I guess, yep. All right, we've got an emergency pressure bandage, four inches by 60 inches. Always good to have one of these. We've got a marker. NAR responder compressed gauze 4.5 inches by 4.1 yards six ply cotton cool and then we've got a bottle of super wash you know for eye wash or anything like that washing out a wound we've got some nitrile gloves always good to have We have behind door number one, we've got a rapid tourniquet. Oh, this is like one of those rats tourniquets that I got in a previous Battle Box mission. I've heard some criticism of these type of tourniquets. I can't remember what the criticism was, but whatever. It's a tourniquet. It'll get the job done. Okay, behind door number two, we've got a CPR shield. This is so you can give them CPR and not get your mouth all over theirs. And behind door number three, we've got a couple things. We've got a pair of shears. Always good to have in a first aid kit. And we've got a space blanket. 82 inches by 52 inches. Yeah. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So not bad, kind of a compact trauma first aid kit, a compact TFAC, if you will. So yeah, not bad at all. And while I'm repacking this, let me point out that this is not a standard first aid kit. It's a trauma first aid kit. So that's why there's no band-aids or an antibiotic ointment or anything like that. It's not for cuts and scrapes. This is for serious trauma kind of stuff. And then lastly, we've got the Pro Plus box, which is the knife of the month. And for Mission 85, it's the Wooks Thunderbird Axe Signature Edition. So, got a little hatchet here. Seems relatively sharp. Wooks. Yeah. Wooden handle. Feels nice. And they also give you a coupon for 20% off any additional Wooks gear. But yeah, I can always use another axe. You can't have too many knives. You can't have too many axes. So there you have it. The Wooks Thunderbird Axe Signature Edition. And the mission briefing says it has a price of $80. Yeah, I like it. All right, so there's all the stuff from Mission 85 of BattleBox. You know, not bad. Again, just like Mission 84, a lot of useful stuff. Uh, definitely, you know, not the best BattleBox ever, but certainly not the worst. It's okay, I like it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this little BattleBox double feature. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbashed Survival. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.